Welcome to the next video in SQL Lite. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use unique attributes in an SQL Lite table so that you don't du duplicate rows. Uh, one of the problems in databases, and, and one good practice in databases, is to make sure that you have rows or columns with unique attributes. And that allows you to give rows unique names. And that's a good form of what's called data normalization. Um, that allows you to, you know, do things like avoid having multiple entries for the same table. So let's get going. First of all, check what's in the directory, and there's a phone book directory. So I'll just go SQLite phone book dot db. See what's in it. We do have a phone book. Okay, so I'm going to drop this table. And then I'm going to recreate the table, but with a twist. I'm going to say name, which is string, and I'm going to say it's unique. And the phone number is a string. The reason I did this is because I want the name to be unique. Now, if we do a dump, we'll see that the the, the table is, has been created, and you'll notice this unique qualifier here. And we'll see what that does. So if I go insert into phone book, I'll use J555-1234. Everything's fine. And uh, it has to be fine because <laughs> it's a unique name. Now, let's try it again. It's the same statement. I'll try the same statement again. And I said, oops, column name is not unique. Let's try a different phone number. 777-1234. Does that work? No, because, seven, seven, uh, because J is still the column, the name, which is J, is unique. And in fact, if, in fact, if I, uh, select the columns, select the uh, rows in the database. You'll notice I only got the rows, that first row that was added in. Now, if I try inserting another row into the uh, phone book, uh, I'll just say it's, let's say, Ray, that'll work. If I try it again, it won't work. If I select from the phone book, see what I get? Uh, yes, we get J and Ray, because those are the only two uh, inserts that succeeded. The nice thing about this is when you design tables, you can specify that a row is unique. For example, if you have a, an employee's table for an employee database, you can say that the employer, the employee identifier is unique and that allows you to avoid assigning multiple phones to the same person because they have the same employee ID. And there are other things you can do with databases um, where this unique qualifier becomes very, very valuable. And that is the end of the SQLite Unique Attributes tutorial video. I hope you enjoyed it.